Hello friends, today we're going to check out a mod for Dynasty Warriors 8 XL which actually allows for ultra wide support and 120 FPS. Now, you're not going to be able to see it on here because I don't think YouTube allows 120 FPS recordings and I don't feel like taking what little hard drive space I have left to upload a video that like 1% of my viewers could appreciate. But I thought I would show this off regardless and then at the end of this video I'm going to go ahead and show, or actually reveal, something really exciting that's going to be happening with this game, hopefully. I don't want to get people's hopes up, but there is a chance that uh, something very exciting is going to happen with this. So, for now, let's go ahead and set up our character here. Alright, I think we're good to go. So if you don't believe me, look in the upper left hand corner. There's your proof. Now, I should say, I don't think this works on the Microsoft Store version, which I uh, made a video about last year. That version actually does have all the DLC, like literally all of it. So, uh, you want to play this game in 2023? There are options thanks to this mod, and uh, the mod that may or may not be coming soon, depending on if the, the modder of this uh, fragment can get it working. It's going to be a little complicated now. <laughs> Obviously, the PS3 version of this game was used as the base for the PC version on Steam. Now, I'm not sure if it was also used for the Microsoft Store version either. I'll have to do a comparison video at some point. how annoying this part is. <laughs> All the endless runs I did here back in the day. Really got to save a rage boost so for this part. She's gonna get stuck in hit stun. A little rusty, forgive me. <laughs> you wanna see better gameplay of this, go watch my videos from 10 years ago. Oh, <laughs> 
I actually lost my save file for this that I had, uh, like, multiple computers ago, so, uh, if the mod I'm about to announce works, I wouldn't mind playing through the game again, but this is kind of, uh, I'll just go ahead and say it, half-assed video. <laughs> I even tried to convert my save from the Switch version to PC, but uh, the file type is different, so I don't think you can do that. Maybe somebody more skilled with me with uh, super nerdy computer stuff could do it, but I would have to start from scratch essentially, or use the editor. actually like pretty much the first mainstream Koei Tecmo for any of their games <laughs> outside of I think maybe the Nobunaga's Ambition games uh, predate this but I think those were only available until Japan until recently. I think this port gets a lot of unnecessary hate I mean yes it's not using the PS4 version as a base but it worked really well even when it came out I had like never had any issues with it, which you know how many crap ports they put out since this game released. <laughs> I think I think they deserve a little bit more credit. Uh, it's always the biggest complaint. People like to parrot that. Like, yeah, it, it does suck. I'm not going to defend them for using the PS3 version as a base because uh, a lot of the Musou games that got ported at this time did do that, but they did deliver a port that works and. Uh, for a Japanese 2013 game, I think they actually did a pretty respectable job. <laughs> it doesn't have the graphical fidelity that everybody wants, but it does work. The Pirate Warriors 4 port was like shortly after this and has suffered from the same issues. So, uh, just a product of its time. These guys grouped up here. Everybody line up. Getting ever so closer to the announcement here. It's like those uh, those gotcha game videos where people say they're gonna pull like eight hundred dollars worth of loot boxes, but then they they stall. <laughs> exactly what I'm doing right now. I'll be the first to admit it. We can go ahead and take Meng Huo out here without using a rage move. So. Done. 
so generally on my runs for this, I would just kind of group everyone up over here. Since Lubu actually, uh, he gets a full heal when he gets enraged. Alright. Alright, he's ready to storm rush. Let's get Lubu over here. Come on, hang out with your homie over here. Line up. <laughs> Got enough peons here to get to the second part, I think. There we go. Beautiful 120 FPS Muso game. <laughs> uh, he did say that he wanted to work on some other games as well. He said that maybe it will work for uh, Roy Zorochi 4 too, which I think it'll be like more noticeable because that game is more technical than this game. The other announcement, here's the drum roll, is that I have commissioned the person who made this mod to make it so there would be no hyper armor in the game, meaning that when you switch to the wrong affinity, they will still stagger. Now the caveat is that he did say that, I guess the way that he wants to do it, is that you wouldn't be able to use Storm Rush or any of the things, uh, any of the passives in here. Where are they? Any of these passives that relate to affinity would not work, but it would make this an actual style play game, which has always been my problem with this game, is that it's, it's a great game, yes, but they completely just destroy style play. So, if you like messing around with combos and, and stylish uh, gameplay and stuff like that, you know, this game has like 80 movesets, so <laughs> it's not too out of the question to want to do something like that. I feel like this game definitely doesn't really have much application for that because of the affinity system. So, in the event that he is able to get it working, uh, I'll definitely play this again. But right now, I'm playing 7 Extreme Legends, so we're probably going to do some videos on that uh, maybe throughout the rest of this month while I wait for my two big games to come out this month, which is Gravity Circuit and Double Dragon Gaiden at the end of the month. <laughs> so, uh, if the mod gets updated, you know, if he's able to do it, I will make a video as soon as humanly possible. I don't remember when I dropped off on this file, but I had a file with a lot more stuff maxed out, but... Uh, this game does not have Steam Cloud. That's how old this game is. <laughs> uh, pretty much all the Koei Tecmo ports, or the Musou games at least, from this era, meaning like from 2014 to like 2017, most of them do not have Steam Cloud support. So, if you don't back up your stuff, it's gone. <laughs> now, I could easily edit my stuff back, but if the mod to make the game uh, actually useful for style play actually happens, then... Uh, I wouldn't mind playing through this again. I've got all the passives maxed out here, as you can see, so it wouldn't be too bad. Uh, in any case, if you have the game on PC, meaning the Steam version, uh, the DLC is actually on sale right now. Now, if you know this game's history on Steam, you know that the game itself goes on discount pretty pretty uh, frequently, just because, you know, it's like 10 years old now, so they're not really going to have that many people that are going to want to buy it now in the first place that don't already own it. However, the DLC does not go on sale very often. I think this is only like the second time this year. So if you want to get in on this, be it the 120 FPS support or the future, uh, you know, no affinity, no hyper armor mod, then definitely go buy the game right now. You've got about five days left to go. Thanks for watching.